Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Monday to 22nd of April 2024. Now, in, I don't even know when it was, I didn't see anybody go into the hotel again, and I haven't seen anyone come out, but at some point the top bedroom light went on. The curtains, which were closed, are now like apart, and it's still on, it's been on all night. So I don't know what's going on there. Still, it's murky. Some of you reckon there's a secret back door and I think you might be right. I know. Right, I've had so many requests to do the death quotes, okay? So I'm going for it. Hopefully they're gonna be funny and humorous and I don't have my reading glasses so they could even be wrong. Okay, let's start with Oscar Wilde as we always should. Death must be so beautiful itchy nose, to lie in the soft brown earth with the grasses waving above one's head and listen to silence, to have no yesterday and no tomorrow, to forget time, to forgive life, to be at peace. That's actually quite nice, isn't it? Live life so completely that when death comes to you like a thief in the night, there will be nothing left for him to steal that's anonymous. Courage is the art of being the only one who knows you're scared to death. Earl Wilson, 1907 to 1987. Life is the illusion, death is the ultimate truth. Anonymous, more itchy noses. The only difference between death and taxes is that death doesn't get worse every time Congress meets. That's Will Rogers. Death is nothing, but to live defeated and inglorious is to die daily. Napoleon Bonaparte, 17, it, you know, 69 to 1821. Death takes no bribes. That's a bit like the death card, isn't it? Um, in the ride away, because they've got all the people like offering a flower, kings offering his crown or some gold or something. So that's Benjamin Franklin. Death is one moment and life is so many of them. Tennessee Williams, Epicurus, one of the Stoic philosophers. Death does not concern us because as long as we exist, death is not here. And when it does come, we no longer exist. It's a very practical way to be that. And I'm kind of, yeah, good days. Yeah, a good days, I, I go for that one. It is necessary to have wished for death in order to know how good it is to live. Andre and Alexandre Dumas. Life and death are one thread, the same line viewed from different sides. Liao Tzu, 604 BC. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, can't read that one because of YouTube. Um, 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 um. Gosh, who knows what death is? Maybe life is nothing more than a beam of light passing slowly over our ever-changing faces. Absence and death are the same, only that in death there is no one suffering. And William Blake, we'll close on William Blake. Art is the tree of life. Science is the tree of health. God is Jesus. <coughs> and then Socrates. Oh my God, am I going to have one of those croaky fits? It's hay fever time, people. One moment. Let me <coughs> clear my throat. <coughs> well, I don't have a microphone near me. Okay. Death may be the greatest of all human blessings, Socrates and Seneca. Leisure without literature is death and burial alive. Gosh. Those are quite miserable. I'm not sure I'm gonna do the second half. I was hoping for some like frivolous death quotes, you know, in a real ha ha kind of a way, but we didn't, we got more of a hoo. <laughs> Right, it's a very crisp and beautiful sunny day here at the moment. I'm very pleased to report we have a little spell of nice weather. So everybody's rushing out to the garden centres 
and I'm in here with Valentine. Valentine doesn't like the sun. Leia does. Leia lies out in the sun like a dog on her back like that with four legs up. <laughs> it's so cute. And then she snores. I know. I'm using Tarot of the Abyss because I thought, you know, if we're going to have some miserable quotes, which we kind of did, then we might as well have some kind of, well, they're not miserable cards, these, but they are on the more serious. God, that card has been coming up everywhere. On the more serious side. Gosh, I've been doing the monthly readings and um, <coughs> one card has come up everywhere. And it's come up here too. Okay, cool. We've only got one that I need to cover up. Let's have an overall energy card. Nice. Love him. Overall energy card is the Knight of Pentacles. I love a Knight of Pentacles. I used to find it really boring when I was a little bit more kind of faster, you know, I'm a bit slower than I used to be, as we all do, sort of slow down. Um, and I quite appreciate, you know, the Knight of Pentacles and the plod. And, you know, I think I'd be able to schedule the time perfectly. I've got to my horse and my pentacle and my Google map, that kind of thing, you know. I'm, I'm thinking there's more longevity in it, okay? So there's something here about, it's been coming up for weeks, hasn't it? About a whole, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I think the tarot is like, they're there. We're almost through Mercury Metrograde. By Wednesday, we'll be there, you know, and then things will happen. I really want to take the card underneath lovely queen of pentacles is underneath which is further bolstering that message good okay so keep on doing what you're doing chop wood draw water bake cakes watch telly go for walks squeeze people pet your pets all of that kind of stuff very nice then this one the seven of swords it has come up god in one, I'm not going to say who, okay, but in one of the star sign <laughs> readings for May, it came up, I used four different decks. This is across, I think I used two decks in the YouTube, two decks in the extended reading, and I got four Seven of Swords. And I'm not sure if I then tried to do a shadow card for it and got the Seven of Swords. Anyway, I know. This card is around. It can mean hold tight it definitely there is definitely some skullduggery because there has to be when it keeps coming up all the time but it also means stay under the radar yourself don't be as open as you normally would be don't share your ideas as much as you normally would have them make them observe them plan them we will soon be in a different energy but this isn't the energy for blabbing the farm at all particularly um in work and relationships, just keep it to yourself for now. Not much longer to go. Then we get the 10 of wands. And again, this is like reaching that point where Mercury kicks the door on its way out. Only a few more days to go. And the confusion and this feeling of being slightly in slow motion going backwards that I've had for a while like this, where you have, oh God, I mean, the sort of mismatches in communication are just horrific, aren't they? I've had two sort of social events where it's just been not like it normally is. And I've just thought, you know, who is it? Is it Cartman or Cartman, isn't it? Screaming gears and going home. I really have felt that and have gone home. I'm like, nothing good's going to come out of this. You know, you know this by now, don't you? You look around and you think you're all nice people and I'm nice too, but nothing good's coming out of this. I'm off home. And then we get the Two of Cups and it's done with the thing that I can never remember the name of that's underneath the angel in the um, Rider Waite. What is, why can't, um, I've got a block over it, which must mean it's important. It's called Cadius or something, I think. And it's this snake goes around like that. Um, the Two of Cups, again, it's about relationships, partnerships, getting on with people. 
and this might be a bit tricky at the moment and if it is just uncouple not consciously or anything just go and bake a cake do something go for a walk it will all be better soon and just reiterating that is the two of swords which is the ultimate you're not supposed to know yet card gosh managed to get to the end of the reading with only one coughing fit and hopefully with the date right because i've been getting the year wrong recently that's been good leave me a comment let me know how it resonates i'll see you tomorrow namaste